Right now, Manchester United have urged social media platforms to do more to tackle what they've described as mindless idiots after Anthony Martial and Alex Sansevi were both subjected to racist abuse online last night. The abuse, including racist symbols, appeared on several old Instagram posts from the pair after both had started in their 2-1 defeat against Sheffield United at Old Trafford. And Manchester United released a statement saying everyone at Manchester United is disgusted by the racial abuse received by players via social media after last night's game. We utterly condemn it and it is encouraging to see other fans condemn this on social media also. Manchester United has zero tolerance of any form of racism or discrimination and a long-standing commitment to com campaigning against it through our All Red, All Equal initiative. Identifying these anonymous, mindless idiots remains problematic. We urge social media platforms and regulatory authorities to strengthen measures to prevent this kind of behaviour. Well, Sanjay Bandari, who's a Kick It Out chair, said, as we have said before, online hate must have real-life consequences so people don't continue to spread hate as freely as they wish. The individuals responsible for this abuse will hopefully be identified by the social media platforms and swiftly removed. We know that discriminatory abuse can have significant real-world impact on the welfare of the victims. We encourage the players to get such support from their club in the first instance. And support is also available from the PFA and Kick It Out. Well, Manchester United captain Harry Maguire also posted on Instagram this morning. He posted a picture of him kneeling before kickoff with the caption, United against racism, we will not tolerate it. This has to do with intelligence. Watch the football game and judge me about my football. Don't judge me about my skin because I already know that I'm black and I enjoy it. So that is, mm -hmm. for me, something that I will never support. It's horrible in this day and age that we're still having to deal with, but every single player, I say this all the time, most players of colour have to deal with that after every game, but now they just feel like they can actually speak about it. If you've noticed, in recent months, players are speaking more about it, talking about their tweets, but it wasn't just six months ago Wilfred Zaha received his first racist tweet. It's just because now players are feeling like they can speak about it. And, you know, it happens to me, and I'm sure it's happened to Mario, and it's awful when it happens, but and it's not something that you should have to learn to deal with, but I do think now players know that they can speak out about racism and something's going to be done. But it's been going on for years and years and years. It wasn't just in the recent months that players have just been racially abused. And it is sad that that's the first thing that people come to mind. But unfortunately, there's a small minority of people that think they can get away with that. And there needs to be more done so that people can ha get arrested when they're doing things like this. Or, you know, profiles need to be... You know, there was talk about Wilfred Zaha was talking about that. You'd have to have a passport to have an account. You shouldn't be able to racially abuse a player or a person.